Breaking news right now on this Friday morning. The suspect accused of shooting a police officer near I-240 in South Parkway is now in custody. In the last hour, police have identified that suspect as Geronimo Key. Now, this is some video from where Memphis police were able to find the car that the suspect was driving on East Dempster Street. Now, this is just off of Mallory and Lauderdale, west of Pine Hill Park. This afternoon, the officer who was shot is in critical condition at Regional 1. Crews were at Regional 1 as that officer was rushed into the emergency room this morning. This is exclusive video as they were arriving at the hospital earlier this morning. And new this midday, we are hearing the officer's call for help for the very first time. Hey, officer down. Got fired. Officer down. Officer down. Officer down. Officer down. Officer down. I support in South Parkway. Now, the first call came in for help just before 4.30 this morning. Good afternoon. I'm Ruben Diaz. This midday, the officer that I was recovering at Regional 1. That's where our Jay Shakur is live at that hospital right now after getting an update from interim police chief C.J. Davis. Jay. Ruben, that suspect, Geronimo Key, who is now in custody, is 22, about 22 years old. Now, here's video from that scene last night, captured last night, where that officer was shot. The officer who sustained the gunshot wounds has undergone surgery and is currently in critical but stable condition. MPD reported that he was struck approximately four times regarding the suspect now, Key. Authorities inform us that he was apprehended in North Memphis, specifically in the Austin P area. The vehicle involved in the initial incident was discovered about a mile away from there in the airway station area with noticeable damage to the rear window. Now, let's hear from interim police chief CJ Davis as she describes the extent of the suspect's injuries. Mr. Key had an injury to the hand uh, unknown right now. The, the cause of that particular injury, we don't know if it was from gunfire or if it was from some type of glass fragments from the actual incident. Um, there are no other injuries at this particular time. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, and we're waiting any information on charges in this case. We'll keep you updated. Live at Regional One, I'm Jay Shakur. All right, Jay, thank you very much for.